I only bit him once. Sorry. Oh, he's bad. <laughs> In uh, self defense. In self defense, she did that. This is not your platform. Okay, this is not the time when you start preaching. I kind of get a sense you're that kind of guy. Welcome to Reno Municipal Court. Judge Draculich is another one of my favorites. I've been watching him for a long time and saving up some of his greatest hits. He's got everything you could want in a judge and I'm not even taking into consideration the whole Wild West Tom Selleck vibe he's got going on. Let's watch. Okay, let's get rolling with... Uh... So, so we, Your Honor, we do have one matter that uh, a couple of people are here either to make statements or just observe. So if we could do those for that one first, it'd be great. They're, yeah, who... they're being put in now. It's Jeffrey Quinlan. Oh, sure. Okay. I remember Mr. Quinlan from yesterday. Yes. Why is this thing working? Hold on. Damn it all. Um, no, I was presiding over uh, Mr. Quinlan's case yesterday. And uh, I I know I have it here somewhere. But no, uh, we during trial, it was brought to our attention that there may have been some alcohol consumption. And so just off the top of my head, it was a... Uh, I think he registered like a... 0.417. Oh, my God. A point what? He blew a 0.417 at the station. Yeah, no. Oh, like course, yesterday, it was a 0.187 is what... Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 0.417 at the station and in trial, 0.186 is what I have. On August 6th, this guy gets arrested for disturbing the peace. He's taken back to the station where he blows a .417. That's more than five times the legal limit. Then yesterday, during his trial, the judge gets word that there might be some drinking going on. So he's tested, and he blows a .186. Yeah, true. That's it. Okay. Uh, 09235, Jeffrey Quinlane. What are we doing today? Yes, sir. Uh, good morning. Oh, I apologize. Um, Your Honor, um, his intention is to plead no contest to the charge, and um, we can proceed to sentencing today. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mr. Quinlane, what is your plea to the charge of disturbing the peace on August 6th at the Pepper Mill? Yes, sir. Uh, for, for one, uh, I want, just want to apologize for yesterday, Your Honor. That's all right. Hey, that's, that's okay. Thank you. That yeah. tells me a lot. Yeah, I uh, totally apologize. Um, yeah. Well, you've got yourself a whopper of a, a alcohol problem. I your case yesterday, you're you're point one eight something, and then your arrest, you were in the fours, which I I've been doing this stuff for close to forty years, and I don't see that very often. All right, Your Honor. So I think the main issue in this case, I mean, I think his his problems, at least as effects demonstrate them, they stem from alcohol. So what I was thinking, and I spoke with Ms. Giannoli about this yesterday, is, is that we need to get him some, either a substance abuse evaluation or a be considered for a specialty court program of some sort so that we can make sure this doesn't keep happening. If he wants to be released today, I would only stipulate to that with like, a scram or an OSM device so that he would be monitored. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, and, and Miss Mayhew, before you, uh, you speak, I, I'll just tell you right now, I'm not, I, there's going to be some forced sobriety here. Uh, Mr. Quinlan, you are, you've got a big, big, big problem. Now, I'm not here to beat you up and punish you. I'm here to help you out. But you get out the, you walk outside that jail door and you're going to be, you're going to rush right down to the, the liquor cabinet, um, and you can't tell me otherwise. Um, so <clears throat> I, I, uh, mm, I, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Quinlan, what, what is your situation? Are you working? Do you have a job? Do you have a place to live? What's your status? Uh, yeah, I, I have, I have the basic needs, and this opened my eyes. Uh, I apologize again for yesterday. Well, yeah, you, listen, you can run that crap by me all you want. Yes, sir. 
And I yes. don't believe because I looked at your criminal history when I uh, uh, had you removed I'm, yesterday. You, you've you had some run-ins with the law like every three months in the last however long. So this thing I've seen, I'm seeing the light doesn't quite fly with me. Uh, Ms. Mayhew, what, what are your thoughts? Your Honor, I understand your concern, um, but we're still dealing with disturbing the peace. Um, there's not like a whole lot that we can do um, in terms of ensuring compliance. I think a hefty suspended sentence possibly and stay away from the pepper mill. Um, and aside from that, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't advocate for an OSM or SCRAM. I understand your mm -hmm. honor's concern, but this is still disturbing the peace. Yeah. Um, and so I would just ask for a max suspended um, given his issues and uh, he'll be back if if he violates. Okay. My my, um, my only thing to add to that is, is I don't know how we would ensure his compliance with that suspended sentence without some sort of monitoring. So like, he's either going to violate and end up right back in jail, or he, he'll be. I mean, if he's not monitored, we can't ensure compliance, and we can't get him the treatment that he needs to stop doing this and then he's going to be in jail and then that jail sentence will be over and it'll be the same thing. Yeah. Well, this is what I'm thinking of doing. Mr. Quinlan, do you, do you, uh, you have a job? No, uh, somewhat, I get, uh, just day labor. Um, I was kind of interested in a community court if possible. Yeah. yeah. All right. This is what we're going to do. Um, because once again, I looked at your history yesterday, you're, this last year you've been, I think, in and out of court and Reno and Carson City and other places like four times. This is what I'm gonna do. And I went read thoroughly, and I'm not gonna overkill this thing. It's and it's disturbing the peace. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you 90 days uh Washer County Jail. That's gonna be suspended for one year. Uh conditions of that is that you're going to do um 15 days in jail. That's going to sober you up, I'll give you credit for time served towards that 15 days. When you get out of jail, you're going to report upon release to the Reno Municipal Court. Your conditions are simple. You're going to obey all laws and no drugs or alcohol. And I'm going to place you on enhanced supervision for the first 45 days. And I'm going to put an asterisk on this thing to where if there's any slip ups, uh, it's going to be an automatic revocation. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not going to be tough. Just trying to give you a hand. You're going to need some force sobriety because you're just going to go out and get blasted again. All right, that'll be the order, sir. Thank you. Good luck with your life. Good morning, everyone. Let me get back. Do 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 do. Let me think. Your Honor, may I put a statement on the record? No. Yeah, that you're quitting. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> no, Your Honor, that I would waive a reading of all complaints. All names on the complaints are true and correct, and I stipulate to a factual basis on all no contest pleas. Okay. Uh, all right. Who do we have for the city today? Just one of them all, Judge. Oh my God! This is nightmare of not a nightmare. It's Irma Boitis Tan. Okay, God, I'm just I didn't warrants last night. I slept one hour. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. It's like every whatever. Hey, Judge, I need to wake up again. Anyways, I guess we're doing videos this morning, huh? Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> I think everybody's excited here. Okay, let's go to Javier Benitez. What are we doing with Mr. Your Honor, Mr. Benitez wishes to represent himself. Hey, you know, I just want to fire her if she's my attorney, Your Honor. All right. The city, any offers? Uh, he's charged with one offense, Your Honor, obstructing and resisting an officer, and he's also charged with failure to appear. So if he wants to resolve it, he would need to plead guilty or no contest to obstructing and resisting. Okay. Sir, well, what's your plea to obstructing and resisting? I pleaded to that not guilty last month. Okay, now let me let me run this by you. This is not your platform. 
Okay, this is not the time when you start preaching. I kind of get a sense you're that kind of guy. It's either guilty or not guilty. I just Let's hear not guilty. There we go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna. Do you want to? Uh, did you apply for a legal defender? You guys never gave me one. Okay, that's because you might not have applied. Okay, you know, with your attitude, I think we're gonna go two thousand dollar bondable. Uh, and you talk to the people up at the jail, they'll have a, oh, I'm sorry, legal defender already has been granted. So let's get this young man a trial date and how do you get in touch with his legal defender, Martha? Brandy Cherry. What are we doing? What are we doing, Miss Boitis Tanner? I filed a domestic battery complaint. Yes. So I don't, I don't know what her intent is. She's oh, going okay. to plead not guilty, Your Honor. We would ask for a legal defender to be appointed. It's city on bail. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Ms. Cherry's MPA score in indicates that she's scoring a six on that, that she's been in Reno for six years, current resident for one month, full-time employment. And with regards to her criminal history, she's got one offense. Uh, in 2012, she was convicted of uh, fraud to obtain aid in California. I don't have anything else besides that. With regards to the allegations, see, she's alleged to have bit her husband in multiple areas of his body. So based on that, Your Honor, I'm going to request $3,000 bondable in a no contact order. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Ms. <laughs> Burning? Uh, because of her uh, slim to none criminal history, I would be asking for a release uh, on her own recognizance and check-ins with the court. I think that that would be appropriate, especially since she's responsible in our community. Okay. All right, Miss Cherry, are you there? Yes, I only bit him once. Sorry. Oh, see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you only bit him once. All right, can I? What I'm going to do? In uh, self defense, in <laughs> self defense, she did that. Uh, all right, Miss Chair, you don't really have a criminal history. Do you have a place to stay? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to give you an OR release. Now, this is the deal. I'm cutting you some slack because you don't have a history, um, and I don't find it all that aggravating. Uh, but this is, these are conditions. As soon as you get out of jail, you report upon release to the Reno Municipal Court. Um, very simple. No contact in any regard with the alleged victim in this matter. Obey all laws and no drugs or alcohol. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. I'm giving you a break now. Don't, don't, don't blow this one. Blow this space. Uh, Stephen Oakey, O-A-K-I-E at 09118. Morning. Morning. What are we doing, Mr. Oki? One hundred. He's going to admit that he did, he failed to appear. However, he indicates that he actually went to the court a couple of days before the ninth. He went on the seventh. Um, it was a Monday, and he was told that he was rejected from community court, and so that's why he didn't go on the ninth. Other than that, he's prepared interview of no contest to the open container. Okay, Mr. Oki. This is this is a. Uh... You're the century man this morning. This is your 100th RMC case. Uh, something to celebrate. What's your, uh, do you admit failing to appear on August 9th this year? Uh, I was denied right here on the 7th. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna watch. On uh, August 3rd, open container, what's your plea? Uh, August 3rd. What's your plea to the already open pled, container? I already played guilty to it. Okay. On the 7th. City? Um, Your Honor, it's an open container, but he it's 100 cases. I think uh, we, we have to do something about this. He's been time served over and over and over again on these open containers, and he does not stop. So uh, community court isn't taking them anymore. So I think we're out of options except jail. So I'm going to ask that you order 30 days. Thank you. Your Honor, could I Mr. talk to you? Hold on, not not yet, on, Mr. Uh, Mr. Cutter Conway. Yeah, this is kind of old home week. Uh, it's another person I've seen many, many times as well. It's kind of hard to make that argument. He definitely has an alcohol problem. That's what I think he's here almost every time he comes to court. He's in it's an alcohol issue. Um, I, I don't know what the answer is either, Your Honor. I hate to 
house people simply because they've got an alcohol problem, but he needs to do something to stop drinking. Okay. Mr. Oki, what have you got to say? Uh, I went to court on the 7th and I was released on the 7th. I was denied community court and I did time already for it. Yeah, well, not on this charge. What's the, anything else you want to say? Uh, that's it's the truth what I told you, and I got arrested. All right, you know, just what I, I got do. stopped. I wasn't stopped for uh, open container. I was just we're going to set out a warrant. We're going to celebrate your 100th uh, booking. Uh, I'm going to give you 20 days Washington County Jail credit time, sir. Thanks, sir. See you soon. <laughs>